our hazards are those that all general aviation suffers, and that is an ageing fleet, the inherent dangers in general aviation. So it's aviation itself. Um, we're operating around aircraft all the time. The big risk of overseas students is of course the cultural differences and our ability to manage that. What we find with those overseas students is, is two major issues, taking personal responsibility and also the flexibility and adaptability. So they are really two key things that are fairly essential you know, in, in training competent pilots and that's why we've got to have regular meetings from by myself or the senior management people with the students and, and listen a lot more and they are at times very demanding about what they want but they're our clients and, and the aim is to get them through the training in the best possible way and the safest way. They do expect a lot but they will give a lot in return. So the ability to actually cultivate that both ways is very much uh, a plus in our business at the moment. As the school has got busier and we start having more and more incidents, people start saying, heavens, you know, maybe we could avoid these. And the issue is we can avoid them. Barry Diamond is ex-military and when he set up Sydney Flight Training Centre, he instigated uh, all the safety procedures he had used previously. We took the CASA document at that time, four years ago. We then got a consultant to work on it as well. And then we passed it around the local staff here to try and make sure that we got local input. It's also a student and an employee thing, so it's a joint, a joint venture. You've got to have a lot of input from both the management and the staff to make the thing work, and the students. 